Jeffy Robot Gangster number one. Go sweepy weepy. It's our last time going to Sabanitas to go to the supermarkets. Um, we got on the bus and it was super packed and we had to stand the whole way back. So now we're leaving at 6 a.m. to catch the bus there so we can come back early. Before there's lots of people, but the bus is already half an hour late. So we'll see when it shows up. Yeah. I'm sitting on the side of the road waiting for the bus. <laughs> We didn't film anymore in Sabanitas because we were told that it's a high crime area and being seen with a camera in your hand makes you a target. So we're just heading out to do some spear fishing, but we thought we would stop and say hello to the little monkeys first because they're so cute. And there's one right there, and another one over there in that tree. They live here on this little island. So now Justin's gonna start the boat and we're gonna get some fish. Yeah. We've gotten really good at cooking up lionfish, so we are pretty stoked that as soon as we jump in, we start seeing them. Justin lucks out and gets the first one of the day and sees two smallish lobsters that we will leave behind. Maybe one day we'll meet them again when they're bigger. I get my first lionfish of the day not long after that. It's pretty crazy how out of control their population is here without many people making an effort to control it. Justin shoots at a ghost lionfish that disappears before his eyes. Looks like they might be haunting him already. It's always super fun finding porcupine fish. They're always super cute with their heart-shaped eyes. It's always super fun finding porcupine fish. They're always super cute with their heart-shaped eyes and always look so surprised when you find them. Another successful gathering mission to help put food on our table. No lobsters today, but the few lionfish we did get will fry up nicely to make a delicious dinner. Nom nom nom. So we're gonna dive under the boat and try and figure out how to get off the bow thruster because it needs to be fixed up. Let's go. Okay, Dale. Daler. Get in there, Daler. So one of our first jobs on board Dances with Dragons is to remove the bow thruster propeller and either have it repaired or replace it. Somewhere along the line something got into the bow thruster tunnel and damaged the propeller completely breaking off one of three blades. While it still works a little bit, it is not effective against any current or anything more than light winds. Yes, having a bow thruster is a luxury and not necessary, but is a very helpful luxury, especially on a big boat like this. We don't really have any idea how to remove the bow thruster, so we are trying different tools and learning as we go.
Boat projects are a great experience for us. We get to see how to resolve all these different issues and learn by trial and error on someone else's boat. So when we have our own boat, we will already know how to do all these different things that otherwise we would have no idea about. The prop has a zinc cone attached to it to act as an anode, helping to reduce any corrosion, which we easily remove. The boat is sitting in about 40 feet of water, and the bottom is a really gross, mucky kind of mud, so if we drop anything, we may never be able to find it. Doing work underwater is always fun. Hopefully the rest of this job goes smoothly. We usually find that boat projects take at least two or three attempts before they are completed successfully. I get the nut and the washer off without too much trouble. Now it should just be a simple matter of pulling the prop off the shaft and the washer off without we pull, push, twist, smack, hammer, wedge, and jiggle it to come off, but nothing works. It doesn't want to go anywhere. I guess many years of sitting in the water may have corroded it on there. Not even Dale's pet crab can help us get this thing off. We decided to let it sit and try again in a day or two. brown one. Oh, look at all the ants in that tree. Justin, do a monkey pose. So, because the, we failed at taking off the bow thruster a couple days ago, we're gonna hop back in the water and uh, piece it back together. And uh, hopefully, in a couple weeks here, we'll be going up on the hard so we can take it off then and replace it with a brand new one if everything works out. So every few days a week the food truck comes with fresh veggies to buy. So when you hear it, you gotta go run. With all the trash bags coming out of it. <coughs> How do I put it on the one on the left? Big truck. Got a bunch of fresh veggies from the truck. So we posted Justin's birthday video to Facebook today. So he's allowed to do whatever he wants and pretend it's his birthday. It's my birthday again. I think it's number three. At least. Mm -hmm. I like it. So we're feasting on all of his favorite snacks. <laughs> Having a beer and watching a movie. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Justin. <laughs> it's been an amazing first week on board Dances with Dragons. It's unfortunate that the boat needs a lot of maintenance before we can set sail, but we are having a lot of fun exploring the Linton Bay area in the meantime. Provisioning has become a full day task with no stores nearby, but with our underwater spearing skills, we're able to stretch out the groceries that much longer. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching! You can help keep the adventure alive by supporting us at patreon.com slash djsdives and get more great DJ's Dives content. 
Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below and share with all your friends. See, See you, you next week! week.